Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Revit Guy. And today we are doing door shadows. Next one we'll do window shadows. This is my least favorite task. Because it's, 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 you will see, don't worry, let's start. So, the first thing, okay, so I did some stuff off camera. So, for instance, I created this family. And if you remember from our first video, if I even have a lawyer family like that, when I created my template, I said that I will create the window on door shadow later on. So this is just a typical, it comes with this, um, what's the shape again? Sort of like an oblong shape, right? Or a rectangle with rounded edge, that kind of stuff. So you have this, this would be represent my room number. So this is a label. So you can check the label. It's Mac. Then I have another label. So the first one is max. So this will determine my, no, sorry. The first one is door type. This first one, this one, no one is actually door. So it will be either aluminum door, steel door, uh, and the likes, timber door and all this kind of stuff. So this would be Mac. This Mac will represent my room number. As you will see when I use it, the head height is obviously the length 11, all this kind of stuff. Then fire rating is for uh obviously the fire rating so you want to just know the fire rating when you look at the door so that's why i put it there but this is a residential building so i don't think there's any way i would use the fire rating there, but i just put that there for context so then after i did that obviously use the text that i'm using and i drew this guy so for some reasons the Revit does not give you the option to put this in front of the other one so hence i draw them in the equal half so i draw one half right then flip it and draw the second half then I draw a line across, so that's what I used for the dot tag. So, and another thing is, so I duplicated, so I'll put this one in the proper series. So, uh, this will now be 300, and it will be called uh, a yeah, constraint documentation. Okay, so it goes to 300 series. So we open this plan. Um, so if you notice, I hid all the dimensions. So I just want to leave my tags to show. So this first one is GO2. And um, so this definitely is an aluminum door. AD. Okay, I've seen something with this family. One is supposed to be Mac and one is around. So I'm not here. This is Mac. Let me make this type Mac instead. Go back. So type Mac. Yep. Uh huh. All right, this guy. So this is actually AD, which stands for aluminium door. Yes. So this is because the type Mac to affect everything. Um. Then once again, I click on it, then click on the, the dialog box. You get this. So Mac is, which I said will be room number. So this is GO2. Uh, GO2. Head height. Uh, okay, fire rating nil. We'll leave that like that. So let, let's do the second one. So it's clear to all of us. First of all, this is a timber door, so TD, uh, enter, yes. Then, uh, what again, room number is G04. So I'll do this. Uh, Mark is G04, fire rating, nil. So the head height is a type mark, so that one comes automatically. So this mark and the other, they are, not instance per se, but they don't come automatically. You have to enter them. Um, so I hope you get the gist. Let me just pause the video and we'll continue when I've done it. Okay, so um, I finished tagging them. So this is aluminum door, timber door, timber door. Then most of them are timber doors. Then this other one is aluminum door. And if you notice, okay, for instances, when I have two doors going into the same space, 
so you don't have them as duplicates so it can show properly on your schedule i just put like geo6 that's room number dot two then the second dot to the space dot one uh same thing you see here two doors leading to the kitchen one is dot one the other one is dot two yeah so um i don't know i just like to put this at the center sometimes so let's see we've done that and when we do that the next thing so come to schedule and create all your parameters you can make it as long as possible as detailed as possible let's let's push this one let's get more details let it be very very architectural do you understand let it be professional so um as as uh, as usual you want to start with um the room number because that's the first thing that they would want to get uh, let me see from room it's usually not under the door parameter so you go to from room room number I'm just put the ones I will need the room name from the list and I'll rearrange it then doors so after room number uh, room name which is fine the next thing you want is um, function so what is interior exterior so the, the, the whole thing is trying to you know narrow things down for the vendor you get um, the next thing is door type let's let's get door type so there's no door type you create it so if you want to create simply come here and you call it the door let me write it where they are writing it dot type making an instance parameter it's a text because it's whether adsd or the likes and the uh, identity data okay the next thing that you want to check is um structural opening so i like to create this one by myself because i don't want to have to kind of start editing the door structural opening uh width as a length or yeah maybe it has length under dimensions yeah so add this same thing struck opening I'll name this height length and yeah dimensions this is fine okay so um then we'll do height uh let's do this this one too sometimes the cost will hard out but no then we'll do with with um okay so i'll just take this up so that's the structure with i started with the then obviously and that so um what do you want to put again i think we'll divide this into two classes um frame type let's check whether we have frame type um, frame type or frame type let me just create my own because i want to be able to enter my own stuff by myself frame type it's a text and it's going to be on the identity data um once again subframe subframe type uh, this definitely is a text 
and also on the identity data yeah then operation so this will tell you how the door is swinging uh if it's slide no fixed slide slide fixed if it's um sliding door if it's side hung single swing side or double swing and all this kind of stuff um next thing we want to add is number of leaves uh, and o of leaves uh, i feel i should have written this thing in capital letters so let's put text there share identity data Mm. Then obviously leaf material. That's the door leaf. Uh, this is definitely a text and identity data. So you see how annoying this thing is. We'll just be entering stuff. And we've not even started populating, but it's in that once you do this, it's finished. It's just setting it off. Leave, leave, finish. Okay. Make it a text. Identity data. Um, dot thickness. Because uh, that one will just put subject to, but let's put it to because it's important. Door. Thickness, um, we'll just put thickness, it's fine. Next, text, identity data, um, glass, glass type. Right, text identity data. So we get into the rating type. So attack rating. Oops, attack rating. Um, text. Fire rating, obviously. Let's see whether we are we're supposed to have fire rating here. Yeah. Fire rating, go. Um, ballistic rating. No need, no need. That's if you want bulletproof door and all this kind of stuff. Mm. What again? Maybe we'll create one for lock type. and um make it a text identity data okay um what's again um, manufacturer the one is already there then um once again wall type Wall type text identity data. Why I put it on the identity data? Because I just love this things uh, stuff that you use to identify the door. So it's a data for identification. Door type, sorry, wall type and um, wall thickness. So I think we can stop here for the purpose of this, but obviously in real life scenario it's really more than this you have a whole lot of like if you're working with some kind of contractors you want to be able to give them as much information as possible right so this is what it looks like 
and all. So we then put this down sheet. You see why I said that this is something okay so I created a sheet already um dot series supposed to be three hundred three hundred series drawing phase definitely construction documentation yes so let's bring this guy here So, so let's just put this in place and um, yes so first of all let's go and edit the text um, okay so we want this to be the biggest this to be this and all this to be the small one. Let's see what that gives us. First of all, we're using our text, which is fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then the other thing is this. Okay, so uh, okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So let's start to. Oops. Let's try to put it in the shit. Okay. Stuff like this. I don't need much. I don't need much. I need much for you. And I need much for you. This guy we can see squeeze you the number of leaves. I don't need much at all. You can even go like this. Nope. Yeah. Leaf material, yeah, leaf thickness, glass that oh, leaf finish no thickness, I don't need much. Um, glass type. Oh no, I need much glass type. Attack rating, I don't need much. Fire rating, as you can see, I don't need much. Nope, so line is fine. Uh, lock type. <laughs> I might need some. Okay, Walter, Walter, yes. Mm, okay, so what can we do on this side? Room 9. Oops, I don't need much. Door type, I don't need much. Structural opening is at the max. Uh, lock type, Oof. class type, I need that thickness, leaf finish. Mm, let's see, where can we get? Okay, wall type, wall thickness. Mm. Well, two things like that. Mm. You know what? We'll be back. Let me just try and squeeze this thing. Okay, so I've managed to squeeze everything in here. So let's start to populate the table. So, um, GO2 for your exterior. Uh, GO2 exterior. Okay, so you can do this and check on your indicator plan it will be highlighted in blue so we we'll know on this interior so we'll come back here this guy would be interior uh, it's a type it will show ask you many questions it should now go and change all the doors to interior which is fine so this Geo six set exterior. I think it's correct. Mm -hmm. Exterior. That's good. That's good. 
Should I ask you where is there again? Must have bedroom. Okay, so I've not sorted out some things. And another important field I failed to put was level. Can you imagine? This one, in fact, is supposed to be at the beginning. So, because how will I feel tight if I don't have level? So I'll add level, but I'll hide it because I don't need this subheading already tells me that it's ground floor. So I'll hide this column. So then I'll filter by level and level equals ground floor. Right? Good. So all the guys here are for the ground floor. So we have two exterior address and interior as it should be. So door type this is supposed to be what now exterior this is what aluminium door so you come here and you put ad ad the rest are td This TD, uh, TD, 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 TD. Structural opening. So um, this is for width, right? If it's three four there. Yeah. You want to add fifty fifty on both sides, so this would be three five. Um, this is 2450. So you add 50 to the top. That's a rule of thumb. So this, you want to make this 1000. And this, you want to make this 2450. And so on and so forth. Yes. So let's just do one whole row. Right? Then I'll cancel it. And I'll come back when it's full. Right? Okay. So frame type for the aluminium door the frame type is um, mm, let's use graphite black and I think graphite black is oops no entry into it okay Gra graphite black raw 90 11 i think i don't know but i think that's graphite black that's good we use it a lot in my office uh, powder coated I think this is Caplock, sorry. Graphite black raw ninety eleven uh, powder coated still frame still so suffering is mild still I don't want to put dimensions mild still cause mild still hollow section section to to 
subject to manuf approved approved manufacturers detail. Right? Operation double slide. Let's see what that looks like. Um, so I'll change the operation to fix, 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 slide, slide, fix. I'll explain that to you. Thank you. So fix slide. So this side is fixed. This side is fixed. So it's fixed slide slide fixed. Meaning this pane is fixed. Slide slide. This pane is slide slide, and this pane is fixed. So that's the operation. Number of leaves four. Leaf material. Leaf material. Leaf material. Leaf material. Um, sorry, I just remember something. Powder coated. Sorry, so the aluminium frame. I just remembered. So let me correct that. Aluminium frame. Okay, wait, wait, leaf material. So aluminium. That's how I found out. Aluminium frame. Wait, glass. Leaf finish. Uh. Leaf finish is um, something almost the same thing as this, so I'll just copy this. Ctrl C, Ctrl B, let's remove the frame. Graphite black, the product put it. Thickness, oh. uh, subject, thickness, no, TB, to be determined. Glass type. Uh, what glass do we use now? Um, tempered. Laminate, so uh, tempered glass. Let's do eight mm. Tempered glass. Attack rating is outside, so you want to be RC four. So the higher it is, the higher the rating. So I'm sorry, RC three. No, 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 no. RC three. The RC three is good. Lock type. Hmm, what lock type do we use? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the cylinder? Um, um, yes, 
yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes. Mm, okay, let's just send that lock. Cylinder lock. Yes, so, um, wall type. I think it's masonry block wall. All thickness, I'm correct, is 230 mm. So, this is one manufacturer. Uh, let's just leave this guy. I downloaded it from BMW, there, so that's what it came with. Let's not change our distance. So, let's go to our sheet. So, you see what it looks like. So, this is one, just one, um, what do you call it? One um colon. I want to increase this guy. Oops. Okay. So let's enter the rest then. Would continue. Okay, so I've entered um, most of the um, items or stuff. So, I mean, so we saw the aluminium that I filled, frame type, and all those things. Uh, for the frame type, for the timber door, how do the thing repeat? Subject to approved manufacturer's detail. The subframe time is, uh, type, sorry, is timber batting assembly. That's the one that they put the wood around it and they will anchor it at an angle till they get the, uh, desired opening. Then operation side hung single swing. Obviously, the pie, the, the, what do you call it? The hinges are the side. So you can swing. It just swings one way. Just whether it's inward or outward. So that's on that thing you should have put down yourself. The kind of way you swing, whether it's outward or inward, right hand or left hand, and all this kind of stuff. The leaf material, hardwood timber, leaf finish, American walnut. Then for doors to the lobby, I use silk, silk gloss white. Thickness in mm for the five. Um, glass type, you know, rating ROC. So if you want to know more about attack rating, just you can just read. After creating class, so you can see what all this, what it means. ROC2 will determine like the, maybe something that I know ROC2 is for like, we stand things like maybe hammer, baseball bat and those kind of things for like 30 minutes, you know. So those are the kind of stuff. Fire rating obviously nil. But if we had probably if we FD 60, FD 120, so meaning 60 seconds, that's one minute, 120, that's um, two hours. Um, sorry, the first one I said was 60 minutes, meaning one hour, two hours, that's uh, 120 seconds, then 180, that's three hours, and, and so. Then, um, lock type, cylinder lock. Manufacturer, whoever you bought it from, uh, wall type definitely. If it's on all of them, I'm measuring what we don't have concrete wall. I didn't have time to go and start, or I didn't want to just start doing the wall thickness. But if you want to do it, you can um, go to the indicator plan. Go to the indicator plan. Sorry, and okay, so this now is on what's the thickness of this. Uh, 230. So this will be only 230, 230, 230, and also that's how you feel that area. So this is pretty much it. So in the next class, we'll do like a small legend that also gives us some graphical, um, graphical understanding or description for that description of all these parameters and more. So see you on the next one. Thank you very much and I appreciate your support and I'm on 400 and let me even check stuff. 400 and something. This is our dream of getting to 1000 for the end of the year. It's
looking daunting but let's see what we can do so let me check i'm checking i'm 448 last time i checked i was on 440 so yeah so my likes are i still not hit 5k i've not hit 10k well i won't say we're not growing we're growing at a slow pace but i mean better than nothing the funny thing was that story time when i started this stuff it was because i had a lot of free time no no i've started this stuff free time has disappeared anyway so i'll see you in the next class thank you i appreciate so like follow subscribe share 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 that's the most important thing because i can only grow with your help and every um your encouragement and everything so see you on the next one